most people who seek for an opportunity for doing their MBA maybe try to change or reverse their career path. And my case is always the same. And my previous workplace was really domestic. And also there was less chance to pursue my career globally. So that's the reason why I ch chose to do my MBA course. As you know, Singapore has a lots of multinational headquarters, and this means that, that there would be lots of chances uh, to work for those companies after graduation. And in addition, the reputation of SMU is getting higher in Singapore, so that made me choose this SMU as a stepping stone for my future career. There are three criteria that I chose this SMU. The first one was uh, dura the duration of the course, and the second one was uh, cost effectiveness, and the last one was uh, helps from the school. The first one, the duration of the course is uh, this SMU is only one year course, so it can minimize the impact in my career gap. And the second reason is um, when thinking about how much you pay for the tuition fee and how much you can recover uh, after graduation is really important. So, and even though this uh, SMU's uh, tuition fee is a bit higher, but I was able to get a uh, scholarship from this SMU, so that's the, another reason why I chose this SMU. And the uh, last reason the uh, help from this school, actually I was uh, helped by this SMU Career Center to find internship opportunity and also uh, to network with local people who work for these multinational uh, companies in Singapore. So that's the reason uh, why I chose this SMU. Uh, actually, I prepared for this GMAT test by using the official guidebook and also I took uh, two online lectures. Uh, as you know, I'm Korean and I'm, my English competency is not that high, so I focus on math, uh, math part uh, more than uh, the English bubble test. So if you are not a native speaker, I recommend you to focus more on the math part.